My name is Professor Moses and I've been teaching kids jiu-jitsu since 2015. I'm a first degree black belt under the Carlson Gracie team. We moved here to Hendersonville a little over a year ago. So the school is about 14 months old. We have over 30 kids in our program already. We've already had kids go to tournaments and win gold medals. I want to talk to you a minute about the Youth BJJ Fund. Uh, this is an idea that one of my students came up with. The Youth BJJ program, uh, which is a fund for kids to train for one year for free, uh, is a really good concept because it does a couple things. It helps uh, a child that wouldn't be otherwise able to train come and put a, a year in, in training and to just enjoy the environment without the, the parents experiencing the pressure of having to pay for it and having to come up with the funds. I can think of a kid right now that wanted to sign up and his parents just couldn't afford it. Not that it's super expensive, but there is a cost involved. So I'm really uh, encouraged by uh, this program going forward and I'm looking uh, forward to see some of the fruit that it's gonna produce. One of the reasons I think that jujitsu is so good for kids, it, it helps them uh, carry themselves with confidence knowing that they're not uh, vulnerable to bigger kids or, or bullies. When I moved out here uh, in 2022, I started the school because I realized that Hendersonville was growing and that there was only one jujitsu school in Hendersonville at that time and it was all the way on the other side, right on the border of Gallatin. So we're over here on West Main. Everybody knows where Shipley's Donuts is. It's in the old David Deaton Karate Building, which was a karate studio for over 30 years. And it's a great fit for us. We've grown really good the first year. Um, we've already taken over five IBJJF gold medals and several other gold medals from local tournaments. And so our team is solid and they're doing a great job. One of the goals I have for Tennessee is that this is the first Carlson Gracie school in Tennessee. Carlson Gracie has a, a well-established presence in other regions around the United States, such as Florida and Southern California, Chicago, for example, Arizona. And uh, this is the first school here in Tennessee. So over the next 10 years, I plan to see several young men uh, be raised up through our teaching and go out and be able to uh, enjoy a full-time career teaching Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Alright guys, there's going to be a link in the description if there's a boy or a girl that you'd like to nominate that's under the age of 12, please click on that link 